What is eFolio? eFolio, short for Electronic Portfolio, is a web-based portfolio designed to help you create a showcase of your education, career, and personal achievements. In plain terms, an eFolio is a free website just for you, where you can share pictures, videos, and things you have written with the rest of the world. Unlike many social media sites, the web pages you create don't change often, and this allows you to build a nice collection of things you have done that show off your talents and experiences. This collection can then be viewed by friends, family, teachers, and potential employers, and we call this collection a portfolio. It can be a little tricky at first to make an efolio, but with a little practice, you will be well on your way to creating a rock solid collection. In this video, we will focus on teaching you the basics of efolio. And then if you want to take your eFolio to the next level, you will receive information at the end for taking that next step. There are five important things you must learn to begin building your eFolio. The first is how to set up and retrieve your password. The second is how to insert a picture. The third is how to edit and create pages. The fourth is how to adjust your privacy settings. And the fifth is how to create text. You can remember these by thinking of four P's and a T. Password, Picture, Pages, Privacy, and Text. Let's begin by discussing your username and password. Your username is simple. It's your email address, like johnsmith at gmail.com. Your eFolio password is the unique word you will use to access your eFolio. When creating your password, it is usually a good idea to use a mixture of lowercase and uppercase letters, along with numbers or symbols. Choose a word or combination of letters that is meaningful to you and that you will not easily forget. If you do forget in the future, don't worry, there are ways to retrieve your password. Let's take a look at how to set up an eFolio and choose a password. Starting from the Century College homepage, find the link to the GPS Life Plan website. This link is located in the right hand sidebar of the homepage. Once you've arrived on the GPS Life Plan website, click on the eFolio login located in the upper right hand corner. You will now be on the GPS Life Plan help page for eFolio Minnesota. On this page, be sure to check if there is a special sign up code available for your Minsky institution. If there is, write it down on a piece of paper. You will need it when signing up. When you are ready to continue the sign up process, click on the Click Here link. And lastly, click on the sign up button. We are now going to go through a series of screens that will take us through the sign up process for eFolio. To begin, read the welcome message and click on the continue button. Take a minute to read the terms and conditions, and when finished, scroll down and click on the continue button again. If you have a special sign up code, you may enter it on this page. Here at Century College, we have a sign-up code of GPS Century. If you don't have a sign-up code, just click the Continue button. Choose whether you are a student or a professional, and then click Continue. Select whether you are or are not over the age of 18, and then click Continue. On this page, you are asked to enter in your email address. I'll enter in my email address, stephen.kelly at century.edu. Enter in your email address one more time and then click continue. Okay, now comes the very important account details page. Now you only need to fill in those fields that have a bold heading. You are encouraged to fill out the other fields as well, but you don't have to. Let's go through these one at a time together. We'll start with first name. And now the last name. From the drop down menu, choose the country of your home residence. Enter your postal code in the next field. And select the primary use of your eFolio. In the next drop down menu, you will want to select an organization you are most closely associated with. Now comes the most crucial part choosing your password. 
Remember, your password should be a combination of lowercase and uppercase letters, numbers, and symbols. Try to choose a password that will be relatively easy for you to remember. Enter your password one more time, then click Continue. On the Review Your Details page, you will have a chance to review all the information you have entered in for your eFolio. Take a few minutes to do so, and then when you are ready, fill in the CAPTCHA information at the bottom, and then click Save. And that's all there is to it. Your account is created. Let's discuss inserting pictures into your eFolio. Pictures should be an important part of your eFolio. Teachers and employers, just like all people, are very visual and like to learn through the use of pictures. A nice picture of you should be included in your eFolio. This doesn't need to be a professional quality picture, but it should look nice and should not be a picture that you would be embarrassed to share with others. Let's log in to our new eFolio and learn to insert a picture. Begin by clicking on the link that says Log in to your eFolio site mouse-based interface. Click now on the text box next to email address and enter your email address. Now click the login button. Enter your password and then click the login button. We are now logged into eFolio. Let's start by clicking on New Content in the upper left hand corner. Now click on Upload from the drop down options and click on Image. To the right, click on Upload. And now it's time to search out the picture we want to upload. Let's begin by clicking on the Browse button. Now navigate through your computer and find the picture that you would like to upload. And once you have selected your picture, go ahead and click on the Open button. Before we can save our picture, there are still a couple pieces of information that we need to fill out. The first is the title. Give your picture a title that describes your picture. Next, click in the text box for rollover text. The rollover text appears when somebody mouses over the picture in your eFolio. The rollover text should contain information about the picture that you would like your readers to know. For this picture, I'll just make the rollover text the same as the title. And click Save. At this point, we've just uploaded our picture into our eFolio, but we haven't actually published it anywhere where people can see it yet. To do that, we start by clicking on My Content. Then click on Image. Then click, hold, and drag your image onto the eFolio canvas. I've chose to place my picture in the main window of my eFolio, but I could have just as well placed it in either of the two sidebars. Once you've placed your picture into the area that you would like, click the Preview button. And here is my eFolio homepage with a picture of Woody and Friends on it. And so it is just that simple to place a picture onto an eFolio page. You can create new pages in your eFolio. As your number of assignments, projects, and experiences grow, your eFolio pages may become a little crowded. To fix this problem, you can create more pages in your eFolio to further separate out the different things you want to share with people. So you might be asking yourself, how can I create my own page to place my pictures and text on? Let's take a look. To create a new page, you must first click on an existing page that you want to create the new page under. I'm going to create a new page under my home page. Click on the Add option. And in the pop-up window, we'll need to fill out some information about our new page. Let's start out by giving our page a title. And in the next box marked URL Shortcut, we're going to want to put something very similar to the title. Now you can put anything you want in this area, but it's usually best to keep it simple. Once you've filled out the title and URL Shortcut, click OK. You should now see your new page listed under the Page Options. Let's try inserting a picture into our new page. Begin by clicking on New Page. Click on Build. Note at the top that eFolio says we are now editing the Awesome Pictures page. Go ahead and click on Image. And click, hold, and drag your image onto the canvas. 
Now click Preview. That's all there is to creating a new page in your eFolio, and your eFolio may contain many, many pages. Now let's learn to adjust the privacy settings in our eFolio. Sometimes you may not want people to see your eFolio, especially when it is in the early stages of development. Your eFolio has privacy settings that you can adjust to control who can view your eFolio. Let's take a look at adjusting our eFolio privacy settings. When logged into your eFolio, click on the drop down menu below the word Site. There are three privacy settings you may choose from. If you would like your eFolio to be visible to everyone on the internet, choose Public. If you would like for people to only be able to access your eFolio using a password, choose Private. To issue passwords to people who might want to visit your eFolio, begin by clicking on Accounts. Then click Visitors, Add New, and then enter the person's first name and their last name and lastly their email address. Then click OK. Now check off which eFolios you would like the user to have access to. You can also send them an email. Then click Save. And that's how you adjust your privacy settings for your eFolio. Now that we've learned the four P's, let's talk about creating some text. Although a picture can be worth a thousand words, sometimes a thousand words are still needed. So for this reason, your eFolio will need to include some text. How about we add some text to go along with that picture? There are two different ways we can go about adding text. The first is to add the text straight to the picture itself. The second is to create the text separately and then add it to our canvas. Let's start by adding text straight to the picture. Just click the picture you would like to add text to. Then click the small edit pencil. In the box marked Full Text, go ahead and type in the text that you would like to have accompany your picture. Then click Save. Now, the other way to do this is to simply create a text widget. To create a text widget, begin by clicking on New Content. And under the heading General, click Basic. And Create. Alright, now we're ready to create our new text widget. Begin by clicking on the Title box. Once you've written the title, click on the full text box. Here is where you'll want to write all the text for your picture. Then click Save. OK. Just as with our picture, all we have done so far is create a widget. We still have to move it onto our canvas for it to appear in our eFolio. Begin by clicking My Content. Click Basic. And then click, hold, and drag your widget onto the canvas. Now let's see how it looks. Do note that the text we created with the picture showed up as a small font below the picture. The text widget we created shows up with a larger heading and small text below it. So as you see, creating and inserting some text isn't too tough. 